Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can um, basically display an attachment in your code. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to a transaction FB03 and it can be anything. So I'll show you a bunch of places. So this is a uh, uh, invoice that I'm going to see. Okay, the company code. Thousand, probably one, bunch of zeros, probably, and zeros, and the company code is thousand, and oops, uh, probably there's too many zeros I put. So, and here, this is uh, the invoice, and you have an attachment already added. Okay, so here you can see info on demo. So if I double click on it. Probably I can see the attachment. Okay. No, it's a big one. It's 152 KB. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you have this attachment that is there. Okay. So now the requirement is uh, I need to display this through a code. I will not go to this place FP03 or something. I need to put it in a code in a function model and this will show me this attachment how can i do it and this is very very important that right? you will be getting this all the time okay so what i can do is i go to this transaction uh let me see se 37 okay and thing is that i have already done the homework okay and the function model that we are going to use gos underscore execute underscore service here what we are going to do is in this service what we are going to do we'll say view i think i can get something test directory no oh, test data doesn't exist okay i'll see view a -T -T -A. and here in the class i'll put the object key and object type. now you might say where will i get this okay it's very easy you go here you go workflow archive workflow and here you just copy this kpf is the object type and this is the object key. okay that's it this is done we'll click the green arrow i uh, would we'll say x you just put x pop up you will say x okay and this one we will say d that means it will just display okay and what i'm going to do is i'll just save it as a gradient okay so now this, this directory is saved. Okay. Uh, did I type D? Now I'll execute. You see, I get this pop up. So now the same thing we are going to go to do for a for another type of document. Let me find. So this is the table where it stores all the attachment. So now we're trying to get some other stuffs. Okay. So BKPF was FV03. Probably we'll get something for. Uh, purchase order okay here you can see bus 2012 we have bus 1006 okay so let's do this one bus 1006 probably it's a bp business partner okay so what i'm going to do is we are going to go into uh let me go here and we'll click on slash and bp okay and here we are going to get this number three one one so control y control c i'll copy it okay and here we'll just populate this start this is the home depot we double click on it and here if you see you click on the attachment list and here we have a note so if i double click on it there's a note okay so i want to display this note now how can i do it same process okay you go to workflow archive workflow and what is this bus 1006 so what i'm going to do is i'll go here i'll click on this cancel okay and here i'll just change this because the object key is now different uh sorry this would be uh, this is the object key and uh, object type and this is the object key just paste this okay the rest of the value is the same please note view underscore ATT and all those things 
now I'll click execute and you see the second now here if I double click on it you can see there is note one okay now the same thing I can do the same process again okay, with the you might say oh can we add attachments well we can do by just changing it to e so let's execute and now you see you can click create new attachments isn't it wonderful okay so you can you can do a bunch of stuff from here okay so this is really helpful let me see whether we can do other things view i don't know what is this view attachment there was anything other types of things there is no so uh, the, we do workflows also no i think this is only related with the uh, i think there is stuffs we can do for the workflow but i don't really know what would be let's give, let's give it a try the workflow pull down okay yeah so let's see service not found so yeah so here you can see all the attachments but uh, we'll we'll cover another piece another portion where we can display the workflow log also okay. so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day and trust me you are going to use this in any project you